It's 201. Right here. Parker's mom's house. Honey, now's not the time. You need to come in and we can talk about this, okay? The kids told me that you want to live with him. Yes, ma'am. Okay, we'll talk about it in, inside. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't want to get out. Do what now? I don't want to get out. I'm sorry? I don't want to get out. I'm sorry. The the you're, you're a child and you don't get to make all the decisions. But you need to get out now. And it's time to come home. Okay? I just lost a camera for it. Oh, don't worry about it. Hmm. You need to come on. I don't want to get out, Mom. I'm sorry? I don't want to get out. I understand, but it's no longer visitation with uh, your father, and it's time to come home. Okay? All right. We can talk about this. I'll listen to, I'll listen to what you have to say, but there's no way... There's no way that you can just roll up and everything's fine and you can just roll up and say, oh, I'm not going to get out of the truck. And this mama is not going to say, oh, okay, bye kid. Bye kid that I've raised for 14 years. See you later. I'm just not that way. I love you. And you obviously have done a lot of talking this weekend. That's fine. Maybe there's some stuff that I need to know. 
but I'm not letting you just drive off. That's not going to happen. I love you too much and we're too close and this is not the right way to do it. This is a kind of a underhanded, in my opinion, disrespectful kind of a way to do it. To just, oh, by the way, hey, I'm out of here. Well, and I, that's not your fault. I, I'm almost certain that you were um, told that this was going to be an okay way to do it. And it's just not, this is just not very appropriate. So you need to get out of the car. But how, how do you want to do it? Huh? How do you want to do it? Well, maybe you and I should come in and talk about what's going on with you that's causing you to feel this way. Maybe we need to talk to the youth pastors like what we were talking about last week. Maybe if there's something going on, I can help. All right? You need to get out of the car. All right? Come on. I don't want to get out. Get up. Hey. You need to get out of the car and come home. I don't want to get out of the car. Huh? I don't want to get out of the car. Okay. Sweetheart? I hate to I hate to say this, but you're being real ugly right now. This is being super duper disrespectful, and you need to come home now. And if I have to call a police officer to come help me, I would hate to have to do that, but I sure enough will. Call him. Huh? Call him. Okay. Caleb's gonna get into some trouble because he knows that he has to return you at two. And I don't think that you're being a very good role model right now at all, sitting there flossing your teeth while this is a major thing that you're encouraging him to do. You don't have I, the... I, I can't force him to get out of my car. Yeah, you I, can. You're his father. I, he is a minor. You can say, you get, have to get out. We have to do this in the appropriate manner. You can, you can model responsibility. You can choose to do that. I'm not going to force him to get out. That's fine. Let's go, Parker. Parker. Yes, ma'am. Let's go. It's time to go in and talk. This is not the way to go about this. What is the way to go? I already told you to come in and tell me what your concerns are, to come in and talk to me. I think that my concerns are here. If you want to be, no, because it's time to go in. I told you guys last week that we had things to do Sunday. What do we have to do? Well, for one thing, we're going to Nani's for like a barbecue. Another thing, we're going swimming. We had like fu family fun plans. I don't want to go swimming. Uh-oh, sister. Smell for the camera. Do you have your phone on you? Do you have the non-emergency number for the police? Where's that bubba? See that bubba? Hi. Hey. Hey. Daddy's gonna call the cops. You need to. You need to get out. Sixty-three, sixteen. Christmas you need to do the right thing. Do you feel? You know how we talk about. You feel in your heart if this is the right thing to do or not. Do you think that this is the appropriate way to do this? Yes. You do? Really? You wouldn't do this to him. You wouldn't just, at the time that he was supposed to pick you up, say, I don't want to go. You've asked to not go before, and I have... I have never not asked you. Yeah, you have, sweetheart. You've been doing this for a lot of years. Maybe you've forgotten some stuff. But that is just not allowed. You can't just not show up. We have never done that. Because that's not the right thing to do. Well, what is the right thing to do? You tell me. I can't see you through this dust. Could you please roll this down a little bit? The window? You tell me. What do you think the right thing to do is? Where did I call? I don't know. You think the right thing to do is to just tell your siblings goodbye? Do you think that, that you're not going to live with them anymore? Well, I'll still be able to see them, but... When? Every on visit, but you won't see Mallory because Mallory doesn't go on Caleb visits. You can FaceTime them or whatever. You can. Fa do you think FaceTiming is the same? Do you no. think that the, f the same relationship you would have with Caleb if all you did was FaceTime him? No, that's not the way. That's not the way life works. Is not on the computer. 
I know you love Caleb, and it's real easy to be real angry with me and Jason right now because you're 14. And sometimes it's real easy to be angry with everything whenever you're 14. But real life is gonna happen no matter where you go. You're gonna have to get your laundry done. No matter where you go, you're gonna have to do your homework. It's not, you don't get a real life depiction of that over at Caleb's, honey, because you don't have to do anything over well, there. Well, we don't fight. Well, honey, maybe it's because you don't have real life over there. Okay, well then give it two weeks. No, I'm not going to. You well, are my child and I will not give you over to somebody that there are adult issues that are not anything that you need to be concerned with right now. But if I thought for a second that that was an appropriate place for you to live, if I thought for a second that it was an appropriate place at this point just for you to go on a visit. I, I don't think that an industrial engine business is a good place for a child. Is military school a better place for him to go? He's not going to military school. Oh, okay, well, I'm glad, glad to hear that. Nobody ever said he was going to military school. Okay. Yeah, I said that y'all were going to go look at some. No, we never did. Yes, you did. You said it right The there. other day, you and I were laughing, and I said, oh, my gosh, boy, you're driving me crazy. I know why people go to military school. After we got done. Talking. No, it was a joke, Parker. Well, it wasn't very Just funny. like whenever you joke, come up to hit me. I would never send you off. You are my child. You are my firstborn. You're my heart walking around outside my body. Okay. Are they on their way? I would never ship you off. I sent you to summer camp one time, and that was hard. He's not, he's not, we have not standard orders. He needs to, it doesn't matter. We need a patrol car. We need help. Well, he is free to go. He's not. He's a minor. He, no, he's free to go exit the car whenever he wants to. And, and he's going to. He's not being restrained by me. I'm just filming. That's I'm, all I know. I'm doing. That's all you're doing is filming. I know. I know your game. That's all you're doing. Are you high right now, Caleb, or are you drunk? Which one is it? Will you take either one? Will you take a drug test for me? Will you will you reinstate I'm not drug taking testing? a drug test for well, anybody. Why not? If you're if you're not under the influence of anything, your big now thing now is weed is legal and you know it's God's plan. How do you know? Because you're on Facebook screaming about how I need to, you know, all these horrible things. We have how mutual, you need to what? We have all these mutual I friends never mentioned that, you, believe it or not, I don't. Yeah, well, okay. Believe it or not, I well, don't. I, I, I've been to the second grade and I, I can use my context clues, but I will tell you right now that I don't think that you're an appropriate influence at all. Okay. And you know, before this, I was gonna talk to you about Summer because there's some things that we need to work on as far as co-parenting, but clearly, excuse you, excuse me, excuse me, I'm a movie star. Yeah, clearly, what, there needs to be somebody already on the way. Yeah. Are they already on the way? I think this is a major decision, I think. I know, he can't get you because he's in Caleb's car. I think this is a major decision and I think that I understand being confused. And I understand not liking your parents when you're 14. Caleb does too. We both understand that. But family is family and we're set up the way we're set up for a reason. And I'm not, well that, I don't want her to get sunburned. That, are they on their way? Or? Yeah, they're on their way. This is completely the wrong way to do this. This, this is, this really is. It's, this is not okay. I'm asking you to come into the house and talk to me about what is going on with you. If you honestly thought that you were going to military school, really? I honestly don't think whenever you're playing the punch punch game with me, I honestly don't think you're gonna hit me. Maybe I've teased too hard with you. Maybe we're our fun joking family. You're internalizing some of that. I'm willing to work with you on that, but I am not letting you drive off in a car with a man that I don't see as the very best influence on you. And I know that you love him. And I have always said, have I always said, it's okay to love Caleb. 
but he does some things that aren't not some of the things that we want to model. What does he do? Well, he just does some things that I don't uh, particularly agree with, just like I'm sure I do some things that he doesn't particularly agree with. But what does he do? Those are, that's some of the things, baby, you are 14. I know that you're big, but you are still a child. But some of the things that you just can't, some, some things you just don't need to be involved in. Not now, maybe not ever. I'm not going to reach into the car and snatch you bald-headed or anything like that because I firmly believe that Caleb would shoot me. I'm unarmed. I firmly believe that he would shoot me. But as your mama, right now, I'm telling you, you need to get your little bottom out of this car and you need to come in. Well, first, I just want to hug you because I can see that you're hurting. I don't even know what's going on with you. But you're fine when you leave and when you come back from Caleb's, you've got turmoil every single time. Something is going on over there. There's conversations that are going on over there that are feeding this negativity. And it's not okay, you're a happy kid. You need to get out of the car and you need to come in. I'm gonna go get my orders. I'm gonna get the orders out of the, I'm gonna get the orders. The cops are gonna enforce them. Huh? Okay. How many times have I told you I will never give up on you? How many times have I told you that you are worth everything? Did you really think that I was going to say, okay, let me go get your toothbrush? Hey. Mm -hmm. I love you. I do. And I don't know what's going on. But I want a chance to work on it with you. You've had a chance, Mom. Oh, I have? Hmm. If it's bad enough that you don't want to come home, it's pretty bad. I mean, people run away for, like, humongous things. Yeah, what are you... What... <sighs> Do you think this is normal, babe? No. Look at that. Look at that, the filming, and the, do you think that that is a, that this is a, a, I'm sorry, you're a child, but I have to say, do you think that's being a good parent, baby? Do you think that's somebody that needs to be in complete control of your deci of decisions regarding you? I don't think anyone needs to be in complete control. That's why there's two. That's a good point. When people... When people walk away from their ability to make decisions about their children, though, there's something that we can't, we can't make people be involved. We can't make people do the right thing. What are you referring to? Well, there's a lot of things that Caleb has checked out on by his own choosing. As in what? You name it, baby. And that's okay. He does his thing, we do ours, we raise you guys, and y'all go and have fun Disneyland times with him. That's how it's been. But somebody's gotta tell you to eat your Brussels sprouts, put your rubber bands on, and wash your blues and grays on Friday night. I do that anyways. No, baby. Yeah. No. Are you going to wait for the cops to come for you to get out of the car? Okay. How many are coming? I don't know. Do you know how many cops are coming? They yeah. usually send they usually send two or three cars. Okay. This is making him real happy. This is his favorite thing to do to stir up trouble. And you know what? That's not really what we're about as a family. We are not a troublemaking family. I know. It wasn't his choice. It was mine. Mm -hmm. You know... I think sometimes kids can be encouraged to do things that they wouldn't ordinarily do. You're the most calm, quiet kid I've ever met. You and Hayden. So there's no reason to send him to anger management classes then? This is not between you and I. You have checked out completely. You're flossing your teeth and this is, this is not, no, no. We may need to go to some anger management counseling because you said you get so mad. Yes. That wasn't that wasn't a bad thing. That was a how can we help you process your emotions thing. 
it's hard to learn how to handle emotions. Lots of grown-ups can't do it. Impulse control, like right now. Oh, I wanna do this right now. Impulse control is a real hard thing for lots of grown-ups to learn. This should not have been handled in this fashion. But somebody decided, hey, let's do it. I don't know if it was you, I don't know if it was Kayla, but it was on an impulse. Mm -hmm. It was on a, oh, let's pull this trigger now. And it, this is not well thought out. This is not a mama I need to talk to you, take me to Starbucks. Everybody, everybody loves you in that house. Your dad and I love you. I have no doubt in my mind that Caleb loves you to the best of his ability. But it is very different to father a child and to parent a child. Those are two separate things. Can you tell me what time it is? 123. 2.23. Every minute that you stay in this car that he doesn't make you get out is, like, not good. He's free to get out anytime he wants to. Yeah, well, he knows it. being free to get out and, and being a parent and saying, no, son, you need to get out. It's time to go home. We'll handle this. I'll, I'll contact your mother. We'll talk about this. We need to have a family meeting as opposed to just, oh, by the way, he doesn't want to get out. You know this is wrong. He's you weren't raised to be like this. You he, weren't raised trash like this, Caleb Leverett. He's, he's, your mother would be ashamed. He, he has expressed to me he wants to live with me. That's and fine. Therefore, he I'm, has expressed, I'm going to help my son. He, he has expressed to me that he loves you many, many times. I'm just but telling you what I was told. he has also expressed to me that you have encouraged him to do this. And I don't for a second think that this is all my son's doing. And I hate well, Parker, what? that he is in the middle of it. Well, I hate it that he's in the middle of it, too. It's I don't, horrible. I, I, don't, I don't get a, a thrill in doing this, either. I'm just trying to help my son. out of it. I'm, I'm trying to help my son. I don't know what else You're to do. You're not, either. You're not even focused. You're picking lint off of your thing. You're just holding that up just so you can have proof for court or whatever you think is going to happen. Maybe you just want to go to court. Is this your way of... No, I, I would rather just do everything voluntarily without well, the court. So why don't you voluntarily pay your child support and do your uh, health insurance? That would be great. I why do. don't you voluntarily parent? I, I, I do voluntarily you do? parent, yes. Oh, okay. You know, I'm sorry, Parker. I shouldn't have even said that. <sighs> Will you get out so we don't have cops all over the stinking road? You're gonna, you're gonna have the cops. Really? You don't know. This is a humongous temper tantrum. You need to get out of the car and come home. This is ridiculous. Will you call Marissa and have her come across and watch the kids? them in there by themselves. <sighs> Why are we just waiting on the police officers? Why don't you just do the right thing and get out of the car? How is that the right thing? Because that's, this is your home. This is where you live. This is where you're being raised with your siblings. This is where your dogs are. That's where your backpack is, for crying out loud. I'm not gonna bring you your stuff. All of your whole life is in there. This is not the way to do it. And do you think that you're really building relationships? You know how we talked about family is forever? Yes. Do you really think that this is going to build a long-standing good relationship with you, me, daddy, the brothers and the sisters. Do you think this is the way? Yes. It's not. Nobody just does this. The only person that I've ever known that has ever done this is Caleb Leverett. I'm done. I'm tired of doing domestic and he would take off. 
That's how I know that this is not coming from you. Why because do you your love heart, me so bad? Because your heart, because I love you. Because you're my child. Because I had you to raise. I didn't have you until it got hard, Parker. Look at me in the face. I never once had a baby and I said, I'm going to do this until he starts driving me nuts. I'm going to do this until his grades drop. I'm going to do this until it gets inconvenient. This is forever. I have never left you and you have never left me. You got something tough, we'll handle it. But you got to let me in. You got to let me know what's tough. Here. I don't know. They'll be here when they get here. It's a non-emergency. Is it going to be a relief when they get here and say this is the order you need to you need to abide by? It? Is that going to be a relief to where the choice is made for you, baby? Because if you feel like you have to stay in the truck to prove that you love Caleb, or if you feel like you have to get out to prove that you love me, that is horse crap. That guy knows that you love him. He knows it. Daddy and I know that you love us. This is not about picking sides. You're coming home one way or the other. Oh my gosh. I can't believe you did this on today of all days. It's going to be hard either way. Not, well, it's not going to happen, baby. It could. No, it couldn't. Why? Because I'll fight for you. Because I love you. Because you're my baby. Right huh? I'll fight right back. That's fine. We'll get you an attorney. It's called a guardian ad litem. We got one. I guess you probably know now that, well, I'll deal with you later. Who, me? Yeah, you. Why are you doing this? Why are you encouraging this? Because I will always help my son. Always help your son do He's what? He's expressed to me that he does not want to live with you anymore, and he does not want to go back to your house, and I'm simply... I'm, I'm not just going to abandon That you. sounds great. Let's do that on a random Sunday afternoon. They always what? come back on random Sunday afternoons. Let's not call and say, hey, we've got an issue. Let's not say, okay, you need to go home, but we'll meet up and we'll talk about this. Where Let's not we? do this in a mature adult manner. Let's just spring this on somebody. Did they say they were on their way? Yeah. They it did. takes forever. No, it doesn't. Yeah. It shouldn't take this long. You got my orders? Yeah. What did the court order say? That you have to be home on the fourth Sunday at 2 o'clock p.m. He's, Caleb's probably, if we go to uh, court, Caleb's probably going to get in trouble for this. But I guess he doesn't care. He doesn't, that's his, that's his decision. I would much rather solve all issues outside of the court. Oh, well, I've made that very clear many times. We've tried, work. we've tried working with you. If you have issues that you want to solve, then you need to contact us. Not at 1130 at night in a text message when you're drunk. You don't know, baby. He had two beers. Baby, this is, I shouldn't even be talking about it over you. I shouldn't even be talking. It's very hard not to, though. And you're just old enough, you're just old enough to understand just a, the teeniest iceberg of this whole mountain of mess. Divorce is hard. Nobody said it's not. But <sighs> there's just things that 
you just can't involve your kids in. It's just the way it is. I'm involved anyway. Honey, yeah, you're involved in a lot of ways, but you're not involved... Remember when with I said there's all, a lot of other things all the little this? bitty things that, that have happened. Because you don't need to know that. Why? You don't need to... Because... The ins and outs of what happened between me and your father and the ins and outs of what happened between me and your father and Samantha, that's adult information. And we're not my father. Huh? Do what? What? Stop. No. You're my baby and no, I'm going to No, get touch off. You. I'm just touching you. Yeah, I know. Get off. Why? Because I'm tired of fighting with you. I'm not fighting yes, with you. Yes, we're always fighting. Every freaking day after school, we're always fighting. Him too. You're I'm not, tired you're of fighting. You're not going to yell at me. You always yell at me. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Go ask the little kids. We have talked about this. No, we haven't. We talked about He's it He's always walking off. We talked about it before you left. No, we didn't. And everything was fine. And you you said to not call home. for extra time on Monday because it was Memorial Day. No, that's not why. Yes. I said because we have plans. Okay, well, still, either way, you wouldn't have let us come over because it's a holiday. What are you talking about? Come over where? Stay. That's what no, I meant. No, I don't want you to stay extra time with him. We have a, a set. We. This is how Caleb and I have it set up. There are orders. And, like, whenever there's a funeral in his family or whatever or there's something going on, we try to work together for big things, kid things. But if he wants extra time, he needs to go back and he needs to ask the court and sign up for extra time. That's the way to do things. That's well, the let's right go to way court. to do things. Well, that's not your decision. That's not your decision. So it's my... Yes, it sucks. And it shouldn't. It shouldn't be this freaking hard. Nope, it shouldn't. Then why are y'all making it? I'm not making it hard. Okay, then what are you doing? standing my ground for my child. So you want me here, but we fight all the time, and you're always... If you think that we fight all the time, then we have some work to do. Yes, we do. We obviously do. No, we're actually not. Well, everything's happy until you guys come back from Caleb's. No, it's and not. And then I hear about how bad we are over here, and so I, you know, I'm not a detective, but I can probably put two and two together that there's quite a lot of time. Can you call that non emergency number again? Yes, what would you do please. if mom and Caleb were still married and you were still fighting? Yeah. Where what, would you what, go then? What would you do? Nowhere. I'd be stuck and it would suck even worse. You realize that this decision separates you from your, your brothers and your sister? Yes. Okay. That's, that's, pretty, that's interesting. A pretty harsh decision. Yes. And I know, and it shouldn't have to be that harsh. Well, Thank you for good. pointing out the obvious. You not trying to be you rude. You don't need to be disrespectful. Yes, you, are, you, are you are being rude. And you are trying you to be trying rude. Really hard to because be you're being encouraged to be. Okay. And we're not stupid and we get it and we forgive you for it. You need to get your bottom out of the I'm truck. I'm not getting and out of the truck. To well, you are. I'm talking to you right now. I need help getting my kid. Here, let me talk to him. Hi, my ex-husband will not release my child to me, and he's encouraging him to stay in the truck. Could you please get somebody out here to help me get my child? He would do it too, and they're just sitting in the truck, and he's filled. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, well, I just, I don't want things to escalate, and um, I've got my four other children um, across the street at a neighbor's house, and I just need a little bit of help. Is there, I understand, is there a, uh, is, is there something that I can, is there something that I can do once the officer gets here? Is, are there charges that I can press, or... Right, right. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. 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 So we'll go ahead and we'll go that way then. All right. Well, thank you so much. All right. Bye bye. What they say?
they're working on it. They said that they've got a couple of units that are working towards getting down to us. But you know. It takes a minute. y'all have a good weekend? Yes, ma'am. What y'all do? Went rabbit hunting. Went Ew, there. gross. Is that what's on your pants? Yeah. Went and went over to Hill Pills, ate lunch. Just that sort of thing. Just regular stuff. Caught four baby rabbits. What do you do with them whenever you catch them? made a little home for him. Uncle Eric's from Oh, I thought you meant shoot him. I thought you said you went rabbit hunting. Yeah, we did, but after that, we we found this little hole of baby rabbits. Hang on just a second, baby. Hey, I need a little help. Caleb, um, I'm sorry. Uh, I've got the kids across the street at Marissa's, but I think she's got something to do. Can you come out? Come and watch the kids because Caleb's filming everything and he's got Parky in the truck and he says he's free to go but Parker's saying he's not going to get out because he wants to live with them and I've got the cops on the way but it's going to be a minute. Um, it, I, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Alright, thanks. Anyway, so you made a place for the rabbits. Mm -hmm. What kind of place did you make? Uh, Grant's cat kennel. We just uh, filled it full of hay so they could burrow and stuff. And Put a bowl of water in there and a bowl of warm milk. And the cat played in the sandbox. She just slept in there. I didn't even know that they drank milk. <sighs> I really wish you would get out of the car. And we could deal with this. Look at me. Mm. Will you please get out of the car and come home and let's talk? <laughs> please don't make a police officer enforce this order. Please do it. Enforce what order? The court order that's the visitation. Please just do it. What's he gonna do to me? I don't know. This has never happened before. Probably nothing. Probably going to say, hey, it's not, it's not his turn anymore. You need to get out of the car and go to your mom's. It's not like he's going to do anything bad to you. You're a child. situation, Parker. And what is? The reality is being a teenager is hard. 
And there's a lot of emotions. Go I mean, your brain, your hormones, are you're taking a testosterone bath right now. I mean, it's just hard. It's hard no matter where you are. It's just hard. It's hard to grow up. I know. Why would you leave a family that loves you for a guy that lives in a shop that sees you 48 days out of the year? Because we don't fight. Because you don't know him, baby. And you don't know what's going to happen. Because you've never given it a chance. Ever. You're right. You've you're never, right. ever you're given not. me a chance. You yell at me. You've only let us go there two two-week periods out of the summer. It's not that I let you. It was agreed. He chose his visitation. That wasn't court order. That was mediated. He chose it. That is not a me thing. That's a Caleb thing. Okay, then I want to go see a judge. Because right now, I don't trust anybody. But you don't understand. <laughs> what? I then tell me what I'm not understanding. I can understand that you want to go talk to somebody. And if you need help understanding the orders, I will gladly pay for that. But what you don't understand is you can't tell him that he has to change his orders. You can't do that. I'm not telling anyone wanted, anything. I'm, I'm if more he than willing wanted, to go to tech, go if go he, to judge. If he Let wanted, talk to judge. I'm more than willing. If he wanted, if he wanted you to live with him, he would have filed. He would have gone to court. He would have taken us to court. Y'all did go to it's court. It's too expensive, Candace. Yeah, I can't afford it. That's just the way it is. I'm sorry. We can we can mutually well, work this out. Well, if you would out, quit we can donating work this all out. your money to your crazy marijuana causes or whatever you do now. How do you know what I donate to? We live in Odessa. Okay. I mean, I'm sure you know what I had for supper last night. <laughs> well, it's nice to say that I'm a hot topic. No, you're not a hot topic. It's just that you're weird. Of course I am, but I'm also willing to work with y'all or you. No, well, we're willing way. to work with you too. That's My child needs to get out of the car and we'll work with let's, you. Let's, let's go to the judge. Okay, you need to move that. No. I'm your mother and you're being ugly to me. You know you're being ugly to me. I'm done. So am I. Good. Okay. You need to get your bottom in the house. No. If yes. you need somebody to explain what all went on, that's fine. We can get somebody that you want to talk to to do that. And everybody can be present. We'll go to a judge. you asking me what all went on. It's hard to understand. It was hard to understand. It's hard for us to understand sometimes how this all works. Okay, so y'all don't fully understand. Let's go to a judge. No, I do understand. It's just a difficult subject matter. Okay, we have time. You're talking about we don't you have, you can't go to a judge right now on a Sunday afternoon, Bubba. You can't just say, hey, it's just like this. This is a very not okay way of doing things. You can't just say, hey, court, open up. I got a question. It's, okay, well, like, let's talk to the cop. I'll wait till they get here. The cop doesn't the cop know doesn't anything, know about, anything about it. Okay, well then they shouldn't be over here trying to get me out of this freaking truck. If they don't know one thing that's happening. They're they not going to the yell. Okay, then just you you, you, just went, you just went back on your words then. No, no. it's just, it's a law. He basically. can enforce it, but he wasn't there. He's not somebody to interpret every little thing. There okay, was then he thought. shouldn't be enforcing anything. Well, I don't know what to and tell And don't you. say that's just the way it is. Well, it kind of is. I know that you didn't want to hear that. But the, George, the judge writes it down in this book right here. In this book is law. And anything he signed that doesn't it get and followed, I signed it. And we can mutually agree to mix it up anytime we want to. You're right. We can. And, we can. Had, I, and had you proven to be more... They need their swimsuits and stuff. How many people have y'all driven in this? Huh? How many people have y'all called? Well, I've got four kids besides you that I need to make sure that they're safe so I can devote all my attention on you and your temper tantrum when you're having. You don't need to film my children. You don't need to film my husband or anything. Why are you doing that? It's a public street and I'm in my own vehicle and I have every right to film whatever I want to. You're so smart. You're right. I am. I do know my rights, Candace. That's good. That's a good thing. I know mine too. Come on, let's go. You don't even know. Like, this is the biggest day of your life, and you don't even know what you're doing. What's the biggest day of my life? Oh my gosh, Parker. What?
<laughs> we were gonna pull your Trans Am around in just a minute. Your car's here. Okay. Yay. We're so excited to show you and film it. Watch, 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 don't go. Stay, wait. All right, come on. Go get your swimsuits, okay guys? Go get your swimmy suits. Don't even worry about a towel, just go get your trunks. Compression shorts. Will you please get out of the car now? No. Can we just talk about this like normal human beings? This is not no, because how we won't talk. Work. We'll yell. We will. Don't yell. The only person that's been yelling is you. Because you're just not like, getting it. Neither is he. No, I don't this is want what to be I've here. I already talked to you about. You say we yell all the time. It's you. No, because calm it, down. We can't do anything. We can't work out anything if you're hollering. I can, can't ever work out anything, anyways. Because he either walks off or you and me are yelling. No, we're not yelling. Yes, y'all are. Well, give it another chance. No. Don't yell at me. I won't give you another chance if you won't give me another chance. I'm giving you another chance right now. No, not to get out of the car, to try this. You can't try that. That's not, I don't feel like that's an appropriate place for you, Parker Kelly. Well, I don't feel like this is an appropriate place for well, me. Well, it. whenever you're 18, you get to pick lots of things. But right When now, I'm 14, or if I'm 12, I can pick no, things. No, you can't. Yes, I can because you, it says it in the law. It doesn't say it in our orders. Well. It's not there. Have you even read all the orders? Yeah, I have, babe. Really? Yeah. So you know everything it says, but it's still confusing. Um, I think the circumstances are confusing. Yeah, you're telling me. I don't think that the orders are confusing. They're pretty cut and dry. Why do you not want people to know? Are you embarrassed? Do you feel how like about this is... what? Well, I mean, you're like, how many people are you going to involve in this? Well, I don't care who all comes. I, Go knock on every door. I don't want to. I don't need to. I don't care. Calm down. No. This is not going to end the way you want it, baby. Yes, it is. You're making your life harder. And you're making your future harder. Why? Because if you think you this is the... Are you going to be ugly to me every day it, because I don't let you go live with him? No. Because that's not But if you, you think that I'm going to let my kids see you, if I have kids, or if you think this is the right way to have a long-term relationship with me, you're sadly mistaken. Okay. Well, I will take my chances on doing what I think is right for you. Raising you in an environment that I think is appropriate for you. And if one day you find out that you don't want to see me anymore, well, by golly, that is your choice. Okay. But I'm going to do my damnedest, my very best, because I feel like that's my job. I'm not just going to... Well, all right, that one got too hard, and he wanted to go live with the ex, so one down, four to go. That's not what this is. That's not real life. That's not real family. Oh good, they're finally here. Can I have my orders please?
about papers? Well, the kids are supposed to come home at two, and the rest of them came in. I have four children with my ex-husband. The three little, the right in here. Um, he's filming us, by the way. You are being, you're being filmed. Um, anyway, the three little ones came in and said, you need to go out and talk to Parker, because now he speaks. wants to live with Jen. We have not standard orders. We had a very strange mediated agreement. This man does not see these children on a regular basis, and all of a sudden, my kids are fine when they leave, and when they come home, I have a child that does not want to get out of this car, and my ex-husband is saying, oh, he's free to go whenever he wants to, but I'm not going to make him get out. Well, they're filming me. They're being not confrontational, but you know, it's that whole, I'm not touching you, I'm not touching you. Just, this child needs to come home. He's 14 years old. Can I get an ID? Uh, yes, sir. Do you have your, your oh, it's in there. Can you get it for me? Just to make sure they don't leave. He's, he's staying oh. in here. Do you have it in park? Sir, yeah, park? yes, sir, okay. it's in park. That's fine. Oh. Oh. That's my ID. Okay. John Leverett? Caleb Yes, sir. You can videotape me. That's fine. Mine, I know. Mine's going to. Okay. Thanks. Um, so what's going on? Um, I'm dropping him off at two o'clock, which was uh, 55 minutes ago, okay. and uh, he, my son has expressed to me that he does not want to go back over there. And I'm, I did go by the orders. I returned all four children here, and he is refusing to get out of the car, and uh, he's free to go. I'm certainly not saying he can't go, but he's also. I'm not going to leave my kid. I'm not going to force him to do anything he doesn't want to do. But in your, she does have legal custody of them right now. Yeah. Yes, yes, they have been within her custody in the last fifty-five minutes. Absolutely. Okay, I just want—I mean, I just want to make sure we're all. Mm. Understand yeah. I, I, I'm. I'm. I've got my same. I got the same copy of the same okay. court order. That's I mean, we're we're on the same page. Sure this is just one of those real sticky situations where he doesn't want to go back, and I'm not going to kick my son out. And uh, the the camera is simply for just keeping everybody um, honest and make sure everything is uh, going by the book. Yeah, that's fine. That's like, like I said, mine's going to. We're okay. Everything. And what is your name? B. I'm Officer Brandon Spinks. Spinks. Okay. Yes, sir. S -B -I -N -K -S. Okay. Badge number one four seven. Okay. Thank you. What's going on, man? I don't want to Any reason why? We're always fighting, and I just don't want to go over there. Bubba, Please don't always, force me to go over there. We're not always fighting. Yes, Bubba. we are, Mom. I'm not going over there. It is hard to be 14, but it is harder to do things like this. This is not even who you are. It, yes. No, Please don't force me to go. This is all. Please. Everything is fine. And then it, 
you cannot tell me that you have not encouraged <sighs> this. This is ridiculous. I've thought this over through like two or three years, Mom. Oh my gosh, you're a child. You're not equipped to make these decisions. Yes, I am. If no, I'm you're 12 not. or older, I'm equipped to make Maybe this decision. Maybe if I thought he was an appropriate influence, if we co parented together on a regular basis, if we were talking and things were all about you, then by golly, if I really believed that it was what you needed and wanted, I would let it happen. But I do not think you're safe over there, and I will not just let you drive I, off in this car. And I don't think I'm safe over here. Well, why? Because you've hit me before. I will hit you again. I will spank you again. No, you I don't you, you don't spank. You hit me in the face. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Face. And you choked me. You have, have grabbed my throat before and pushed me up against the wall one time because I did my boots and you would not let me bring them over. I, have I remember it because we were in the hallway by my room. I don't choke you, Barker. No, you, you did not choke me, but you had your hands around my neck and you oh. and him were cornering me and I will not go back over here. Please, for the love of God, can't. let me leave. No. Please don't no, force me to go, ridiculous. sir. Please, for the love of God. Deep breaths, buddy. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. I think he, could, he told her to consider letting me go. I have legal custody of you, Parker, and I'm unlocking this car. No, you're my no, child. I'm not getting out. No. Okay. I'm going to explain it to you also. Okay. I'm, I'm getting you out of the car. Can we ask for the door to be unlocked? You can unlock it. Do what? This is, a, this is a parent adult. This is a parent child situation. Get out of the car, Parker. No. This is a civil issue. Mom, no. This is really the wrong way to get do this get her arm out. No, I'm not getting my arm out. You're my kid. Stop. You're stop. my kid. Stop. Mom. No, I'm not gonna stop. 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 I can't. I can't. Stop. Parker, if I, I have to use force to get you out. Okay. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Come home. No. I, I, I appreciate it. I really, I appreciate it. Did I get my... Yeah, okay, thank you. And I'm allowed to do whatever to get this baby out of the car? Can my husband help me? Please don't. No, get... Okay, stop. No! Stop! Get out! Get out! Me? You just said I know. Let me talk. Oh, 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 oh. Here, ma'am. Hang on, Parker. Hang on. He didn't say you have to get out. You ain't got to step out. This one on the window. Yes, sir. Okay. It's this is your mom, dude. Yes, sir. And I understand you don't want to go. Yes, sir. Okay. But she does have the right to get you out of the car. Okay. Now I, I know you want to go with your dad, and I, I understand that. Don't get me wrong. I, I do. Okay. I'm just saying, as a, you're still a child, man. You're 14. She does have the right to get you out of the car. Right. Okay, but the whole fighting and arguing and bickering and trying to roll her arm up from the window, 
I mean, if this is going to turn into a disturbance, we need to handle this a different way. Can we, can okay. we agree? Yes. yes. Okay. Can we, this, I mean, this is going from civil to disturbance. Yes, sir. <laughs> Who initiated the force? She, well, she was trying to get the child out of the car, which is initiating her parental right. It wasn't technically force. It's not force? No, she was she was initiating her parental rights. Okay. Is that is that is that is that per law? Yes. Okay. Do you know which law that is by chance? Mm, right off the top of my head, no, but I, I, can, okay, I okay, okay, have to go okay. look it up. Okay. I mean, I, and I understand, but like I said, the whole trying to this disturbance turning into disturbance. I'm sorry. Okay, that's where, that's where, that's where I have that's where I get involved. And I, I, I wasn't trying to roll her on that. I was I trying to get her on out. I understand. I, I I was sitting here. I witnessed everything. I saw what happened. Okay. So I was in the wrong? I didn't say either one of you were in the wrong. I just said this is turning into a disturbance and that's what we're not about to do. Okay. Okay? I need you to just get out of the car So then. if we can talk about this in the civil way, like adults, <laughs> we need to do it that way. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. You good with that? Yes, sir. All right. I'll let y'all continue this story. There's nothing to talk about. He's adamant that he's not getting out and I'm adamant that I'm not sending him away with my ex-husband. There's Jeez, nothing sir. to talk about. Jeez. We can talk about what's going on with why you feel this way in the house, but I am not sending you somewhere where I don't I don't have a good feeling about it, even on your regular visits. Okay, well I want him to go in then. He can't come in and mediate this. That's not his you job, babe. Right here, back and that I'm trying to get to do it without He doesn't a, believe a, a, in courts or cops. I'm trying to do it in a in a less expensive way because I've gone down the expensive route which has broken you before. Why don't you go ahead and tell him what you think about police officers? Uh, that has nothing to do with what we're talking about. You don't have it respect it's, for anybody, even your own child. Completely irrelevant. You don't have uh, even respect for even your own child to encourage him to handle a situation just impulsively like this. This he's is ridiculous. He's been pretty calm until he's been pressured from what I'm witnessing. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm from your point of view and the way you'll edit that, I'm sure. Will you, will you mind uh, emailing me a copy I'm completely? Not answer that question. Will you please email me a copy of I'm that so I have that. record of it also? I'm not going to answer that. Mm. already said, said it's going to be a disturbance and I'm not going to stop yeah, until you're home. I'm, I'm not going to stop until I'm not going to stop. So you want me to be arrested for creating a disturbance? Or if or that's him. what it takes, Mom, you're scaring me. I'm not scaring you. To get you out of the car? That's scary? What do you think's going to happen when you go in? Trying to unlock the door and get him to open the door? He's a parent. The cop just said he's also a parent that has custody Okay, right well, I'm not going. We'll just have it filed with the paperwork, and then we go about our way. That's my goal. I, I just I don't have the ten thousand dollars to put down. I, I just don't. I'm just saying that's a route you can go ahead. Oh, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing looking into it some more. But like I said, without hopefully without involving all the lawyers, at least too many lawyers. How do I go about this and it's not a disturbance to where I don't upset you or upset him? I mean, I have legal custody of this child and he won't, I mean, he's right there. I can touch him and he won't unlock the door. He's having a temper tantrum. He's a child. I know, I what do I do, officer? I can't, I can't, because then he starts screaming and then you say no, because it's a disturbance. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Yes, it is. I'm floored. You're what? I'm floored. Yeah, I'm sure you are. I'm sure. <laughs> You came to bring the, the kid back, right? Yes. For my children. Okay. You don't want to get off? No, sir. I'm scared to go in. Okay. You're scared you to go in. Stay, you want to stay with your dad? Yes, sir. And you're willing to take him? Why oh, are absolutely. you scared to go in? Okay. No, I have legal custody. It doesn't matter. We can't do nothing about that, man. We I'm can't. scared to go in. Why are you Especially scared? after right now. You're, nothing's going to happen to you, baby. I, I just want a hug. No, I'm not going in. We can't do nothing about it. Like I told you before, before. 
<laughs> but you said that I could use whatever necess force necessary no. to get into That's that not car. What I said. Aside from killing him. Aside from said. killing him is exactly what you said. No. Yes, sir. Uh, yes. Can I this situation. And your name, oh, Ro Ro Rocha, badge number 120. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, for this instance, uh, she's going to probably want to do something about it and go to court and all that. Mm -hmm. I would advise you that you, I mean, because you're doing a good thing in court and all that, so you can show up wherever you need to go. Right. So, um, I don't know what he's scared about. I don't know what he's scared about. There might have been something that happened. Just make sure that. His father is willing to take it. Okay? Y'all can discuss this in a civil way, but his father can take it. Y'all can take him back to court and determine because that's a civil issue. That is y'all civil. That is y'all going to court. That is y'all's child custody agreement. Okay? That is not a criminal issue. Okay? If he's willing to take the kid, he's willing to take your son. It's considered a mess. He can just steal my boy. County. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so it's not illegal. Know, I mean, it's, 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 What's the point of having orders if he can do whatever he wants to do? He does refuse to get out. So six Which weeks down the road, that can do something about it. Midland County Sheriff's or y'all? Watch out. Whoever you call, don't know. I know. And I'm sure that he probably agrees if he had a child in this situation. But he can't. Because honestly, I'm pretty much going to send the sheriff out there. I, I can only go as far as my... Uh, Midland County Sheriff's and Policy. Yeah. County. What am I allowed to do to get my child? Yeah, yeah, you know where... Uh, no, you didn't. Uh, you came back here. You said I can do... I live in my Sunday shop in an apartment. My shop right behind me. It's just beyond the Hector County Library. I'm sorry. But they, but it, the address. Okay, don't, don't, don't what happens if I cause okay. a disturbance getting my boy? Right. And anytime you want to leave, they can take But what is it? Just okay. I don't even know what a disturbance is. Just be allowed? Okay. Can I? Can y'all write a report about this? You said about I couldn't get him out without causing a disturbance. Okay. He starts screaming and yelling and trying to yell and blowing up the building and all that. Okay. I want a record of this, and I want a record of what your recommendations are. Then what do we do for me to press charges against him? Prepared to do that right now. And I appreciate y'all being civil about this. Right there. I mean, yeah, I, I right really, there. Really do. You don't see that? So you want, you, you want to press assault charges? Anything, to, anything to get him away from that No, he's going with it. Um, even if he even yes, if he gets back here, if you want to go ahead and file the assault it, charge, he's probably going I've with it. I've never, him. obviously never been inside the home. I don't, all, all so I'm getting no, is first or second hand. So there's no loophole to get my baby. No, ma'am. From him. Can I talk to you? Go ahead. She just called me your baby, but she's threatening to sue me. I'm not trying she, to you see just said I'm you're doing press anything charges. I can to get you away from him, babe. I'm your I'm your baby, but you were gonna press charges on me it, because you put your arm in the window anything, and I tried to peacefully get it out. Anything to get you away from Caleb right now, Do you babe. You see the tension here. John Caleb. I don't. Thank you, sir. I don't. Think. Thank, thank you. C A L E B. Last name. Leverett. L E V. E R E T T. Oh, you got his information. I've already, I've already yeah, he's got. He's got. He's got my ID. That's why I was. I've already ran up. All right, you're free to go. Uh, well, can can I? Can you? Are you? Can you make a, a report of this? Or could I have a copy of this? And she. I don't know how that works. If she called, but we're involved. I mean, y'all are telling me I'm free to go, but uh, yeah, I, I'm not. Yeah, I mean, you, you have, have it on, on, you have it on your recording that says you're, you're free to go. If another, if she tries to call it in, saying you kidnapped her kid. We're you, not gonna do nothing. You can show the officer shows up. You can show him the end of this video. Do y'all have Brandon a business Spinks card by chance? Him. No, sir, I, I do not. But like you said, I'm Officer Brandon Spink, so that's the police department badge number 147. Okay. Okay. Um. I, I mean, I'm, I'm more than willing more than willing to take him to school, but uh, ask her if you can. We're free to go. Ask her if you can get your school stuff. I mean, you're you're off tomorrow, right? Memorial Day. Can you make sure they don't? Excuse me. I don't want them getting there. We, we can, okay, I'm, by policy, we can't. By policy, I, I can't. We can't. You can't go in? No. They changed uh -huh. it. It's, it's, who what? They changed it. By what? For to go in there? To it's not a disturbance. It's, it's a, civil. I know, but it's a disturbance, so we can stand by while you gather some stuff. Please. I mean, I Can y'all can stand by? We can stand by. Together. I mean, he's, he's telling you he's afraid. It has to be fast, though. Okay. It'll, uh, it'll take me five minute stops. All right. Don't even make it five minutes, dude. Make it one minute.
stay. Yes, I Okay, we're go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good job, buddy. Thanks, dude. Wow. She tried to slam the door to my own room and force me to stay there. I pushed her as, I would say, self-defense. I did not assault her. I'm not staying there anymore. Well, Parker Kelly, I'm thoroughly impressed. I'm, I'm proud of you, son. You stood your ground. Congratulations. Thanks. I'm gonna pause this. I'm gonna call Hill Pill. Let her know. Let her know what's going on. Okay. Okay.